Lady Colin Campbell has issued a scathing rebuke, denouncing Harry and Meghan's use of blackmail tactics as trouble in paradise. Lady Colin Campbell, a royal biographer and prominent socialite, has directed criticism towards Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for allegedly exploiting their ongoing security dispute with the UK government to coerce the royal family. Since stepping down from their roles as senior members of the British monarchy in 2020, plenty has been said about Her Majesty's grandson and his wife's decision-making abilities. One issue that continues to be examined is how they've chosen to handle security arrangements during any visits back home. The Home Office is facing legal action from Prince Harry, who disputes the government's decision to deny him a similar standard of personal protection that working members of the royal family receive. Nevertheless, Lady C, widely known as such, views this move by the Sussexes as a calculated scheme aimed at putting pressure on the monarchy. Express UK was told that the Columbia tour of the Sussexes highlights their hypocrisy. Despite claiming security concerns for his family in the UK, Harry still visited some of the most perilous places on Earth, Jamaica, Nigeria, and now Colombia. Lady C is outraged by the recent four-day visit to Colombia, as it was meant to promote mental health and counter cyberbullying, but has only served as fuel for her anger. Her argument is that traveling to such places considered perilous undermines the Sussex's stance on UK's safety for themselves and their children. Referring to Prince Harry's legal battle with the Home Office, Lady C stated that his family cannot visit Britain due to his intention of blackmailing them. She further accused the Duke and Duchess of attempting to establish a separate royal court in the United States for promoting their personal agenda while labeling them as seriously deranged. Lady C thinks that the Sussexes' contradictory actions of embarking on four prominent journeys abroad while asserting that they are unable to come back safely to Britain have caused disagreement, exemplifying their insincerity and ulterior motives. They expressed interest in setting up a separate court with royal standing within the U.S. and presenting themselves as ambassadors of a state on an international level, she explained, however. Their position is not related to official duties or responsibilities for any particular nation. Instead, they have solely focused on advancing personal endeavors such as gaining financial benefits, wielding power, and exerting control over others. After the Sussexes' legal dispute with the UK government regarding their security arrangements, a harsh evaluation follows. The Home Office determined that upon his resignation from royal duties and return to the UK in February 2020, Prince Harry would receive an altered level of protection. Despite initiating legal proceedings against this verdict, he failed to secure victory in court. Nevertheless, Lord Justice Bean's decree on May 23 grants permission for him to appeal against the High Court judge's decision at the Court of Appeal. The never-ending legal conflict has intensified the public's interest in the Sussex's safety worries and their determination to safeguard themselves, just like active members of the royal household. Lady C shares a similar view with several skeptics who have doubted the intentions of Harry and Meghan, as well as their reluctance to go back home without adequate security provisions. Some see the couple's choice to visit risky nations and claim that their own country is hazardous as hypocritical. Additionally, Lady C has alleged that the Sussexes plan on establishing a separate royal court in America and are using these trips to boost their financial gain, power, and control. This only adds further fuel to an already explosive situation. As the Sussexes continue to navigate their post-royal life, criticism from figures like Lady C is expected to persist. The public and media interest around security arrangements and international engagements will likely remain intense in the coming months. It seems that the conflict between Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and both the royal family as well as a wider audience isn't ending anytime soon. With accusations of blackmail and two-facedness being thrown at them, it's evident that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle must defend themselves just so they can move forward while paving a new course for themselves along with their loved ones.